Hello all, I know it's been a while, uh, but I've heard different uh, people in the forums ask the question about how long can they leave their DTF printer unattended. And so I happen to be going out of town uh, this next week, and so I figured this would be the perfect time to showcase this gem of a tool that I found. And uh, it resonated with people in the forums when I posted it, so I figured I'd need to make a videos for you guys to show you just how to use this tool uh, if you're going to go on vacation or leave your printer unattended and this will be a little experiment that we conduct and I'm going to when we get back I'll show you guys in real time we'll run a print just so that you see how powerful this tool is and I haven't done it I just have this faith uh, in in the printer so I love doing this stuff so that you can see uh, you can separate truth from falsehoods and you can uh, that way you don't have to run a lot of cleaning solution through your printer or you don't have to do a lot of cycle purging cycles and stuff like that uh, that can be a little bit cumbersome let's do the minimum amount of maintenance required to get the best prints stay tuned Okay, so the first thing you want to do, and again, the link will be in the description, I hope you can hear me okay, uh, is go to ddisoftware.com, and again, I'm not, you know, this isn't, um, what do you call it, uh, this isn't a, an affiliate link, or I'm not monetized, or anything like that, this is just a free gem for you guys, ddisoftware.com, uh, Quimage Ultimate is what you're looking for, and what do you know? Yeah, there's a 14-day trial. So for some of you out there that just would like to test this software out just to see if it's going to work for you or to see if it's compatible with your printer model, go ahead and download this trial or you can go ahead and pull the trigger on this um, $69.99 um, you know, value here. So once you install Quimage Ultimate, uh, you'll see that it loads up this is this should be the window that you should have uh, that should be standard and what this tool is useful for is printing what we call purge sheets so all this does is instead of doing a cleaning cycle um, you know no put it this way how many of you guys especially with the uh, L1800 uh, the, your first print of the day looks faded and if I can find an older video uh, of one of those prints coming out faded at the top it's almost like a gradient pattern from uh, from 100 percent transparency into your print so what this is going to do is when you schedule a purge sheet every day you can just load uh, at least one or two sheets of uh, letter size paper into your printer and then you can schedule these sheets so what this does is it forces ink through the print head it, and so what we want to do is go to file and then print schedule unclog jobs and so this helps to clear stubborn clogs if you're not getting uh, all of your nozzle checks clear at 100 percent that is what this is for this does not represent necessarily uh, the type of inks that you have in the printer but what we're gonna do is make sure all of these check boxes are selected because these represent the colors that will be printed um, so let's say we select all of these you can see what's going to print if you just hit Q but for you uh, we need to be certain that your printer is selected and you can do this for multiple printers so this is how the pattern is going to look out so we have the green the purple the violet, violet color the cyan's in there uh, so now we'll go back to this to this prompt here to this menu and so we have the L1800 selected here I also do this with my Epson workforce printers that I use for sublimation so that's 7620 and the 7610 you want to make sure that's selected and if your printer isn't there you want to hit this plus sign or obviously you know what the X is for um, so what we are trying to do is to uh, schedule a job because remember I'm let's see how long I'm 
I think it should be seven days. So we're leaving tomorrow. Today's the 20th. We're leaving tomorrow. Yeah, so we aren't coming back until Friday, Saturday-ish. But I don't work on Saturdays. So how that's going to look is on the 27th. That'll be an entire week. So when I come back, there should be... So when I come back, there should be seven printed out nozzle purge sheets that we've generated. So we want to go to schedule. And all we're doing is to let the printer know that it needs to print every day at around this time. So every day that I'm gone from 10 a.m. or 10, 12 a.m., it's going to print these sheets. So we have it set at one day, so every one day. Now, if you didn't need uh, to do this as, as often, like if you had something like a Canon, uh, primarily the Pro 100 series, you might not need to do this, but every two or three days, but you could schedule that. Let's say that I wanted to run a nozzle purge sheet for uh, the other printers, I could schedule those individually as needed as well. Uh, now, I won't schedule a purge sheet for the Epson 7890 because I'm still getting the head strikes and I don't want that white ink to settle uh, on the, the print head. I won't hit OK because I will end up having to go and uh, set this up on another printer but I have all of my recording uh, uh, software connected to this computer. So I'll have to go and set this up on a different computer. Uh, but from here, what we would do is just hit print. If you wanted to print a purge sheet, one purge sheet without scheduling it, we would hit print. And then I'll show you what the print test pattern looks like. Okay, it's printing the purge sheet now and uh, notice that I've removed my tray. So I removed the tray because I don't want these to, you know, the bed is up higher. And we're printing regular paper so it shouldn't rub against the print head in any way. But before I leave, I'll have to make sure, okay, it did a little bit, uh, and that's okay. But this is what we're wanting. We're wanting it to purge the print head a purge, you know, to basically prime the print head so that you don't get any of the faded colors. And what what we're trying to do is just be certain that we are pushing some sort of ink through the printer the entire time we're gone. So we don't need to run head cleanings and all this crazy stuff as long as the dampers are good. Some of you, if you if you go to prime your dampers and you notice that. It, the ink flows back into the reservoir or the ink tanks that means that your dampers are either bad or you don't have enough uh, of a vacuum on it so if that's the case this might not work for you because you already have air introduced in the lines if you leave it unattended for a few days but assuming that everything's okay uh, when we come back we should have seven purge sheets sitting here uh, and we should run one nozzle test and we should be good to go. So stay tuned and I'll keep you guys updated and we'll see how this goes.